My name is Mathieu Bossadet, and although I'm not a classically trained chef, my passion for cooking and refined palate have earned me great respect in the culinary industry. Join me as I taste my way around the world, one bite at a time. This is Taking a Bite, Ottawa. Discover Ottawa's Little Italy. I'm a big fan of farm-to-table cooking. Add in fresh bread and homemade pasta and you'll get 268. This Preston Street restaurant is preparing everything here from A to Z. Let's head in and see Chef Steve and see what's in the works. Hey Steve. How's it going, Matt? Good, yourself? Pretty darn good, yeah. You know, I love what you guys are doing with the Appreciate you know, farm to table. You guys make stuff here. They make almost everything here, right? I mean, you guys make your own cheese, bread, pastas, and you know, that kind of, it's, it's not something that we see every day. You would hope that you would, but probably not. You would much hope as you that should. you would, exactly. Yeah. So, um, what are we gonna be making today? A uh, cold salad, kind of an end of the season root vegetable, sort okay. of tuna, Petrowski turnip, uh, halloumi salad. Cool, and uh, where would those come from? Uh, the Petrowski turnips are an heirloom turnip from southern Ontario. Uh, usually, we'll start by getting our pear ready for to add a little sweetness to the dish. Nice. Definitely uh, good to add some sweetness to a fresh salad like that. Exactly, you need a little balance of the, cause there's like some spices on there, there's some cheese on there, there's some nut. So you gotta right. kinda complement uh, your, your earthy flavors with a little bit of sweetness. So what kind of pear are we using for this? This is a uh, Hansui pear okay. from the Okanagan Valley in BC. One of the best pears I've ever eaten, actually. You want to try one? It's pretty yes, good. Yes, let's try it. A little bit different, not than your typical green it's pear. It's an Asian pear, but it's thrown in BC. Mm. Wow, yeah, it is good. different. Yeah. It's very sweet. I almost get like melon flavor. I know, I don't it's know. more like a, almost like a honeydew esque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So then we get our uh, Petrowski turnips that have been uh, blanched in a court bouillon and then they're hard roasted. So are, do they have a different flavor than the regular turnips? That, yeah, so know? it's a little uh, milder, a little less peppery, right. um, very earthy. Maybe not for everybody, but I really enjoy those flavors. We got our spices here, we got Ooh, our Is that nuts. your secret spice mix right there? It's, uh, it's a variation <laughs> of a Middle Eastern spice mix. Right. Clove, paprika, cinnamon, there's, a, wow. there's about nine spices in there. Yeah, definitely gonna kick your taste buds into shape. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really good. So then we have our uh, sheep milk uh, halloumi from right. uh, a sheep farm. And this, this so halloumi- 45 minutes out of town. Well, and you guys make this yourself. Yeah, we make that. Is that a lengthy process? It's like a- Eight hour process. So I'm gonna to try it. Yeah, so. do it up, man. Hmm. So it's a little less salty than the halloumi you get at just because yeah, oh yeah. we brine it a little less. I love that squeakiness of fresh exactly. cheese. Exactly, it's got that I'm curd. I'm French texture. Canadian, so that yeah. curd, that squeaky is beautiful. Very nice. All right. So then that gets torched. All right. So what I do is I torch each side of the cube. So it gets torched, flipped. Torched. Don't torch your fingers. <laughs> uh, my fingers are pretty dead on the, on the <laughs> extremities. And then also I do it on this cloth, because if not, I would melt my cutting board. Exactly. So the torching is going to do what to the cheese exactly? It gets that subtle melt going, as well as the, now you're getting uh, some extra flavor on there, right? That yeah. char. You're kind of like building on flavors here. You got your earthy, you got your sweet, then you got your kind of like bitter charred flavor, and then the creaminess of the cheese on the inside. Beautiful. Ooh, we'll just slide you over Ooh. a tiny bit. Don't want to burn you, Steve. That's fine. <laughs> so we have our mandolin Petrowski turnip. All right, then we go with our Malden salt here, Perfect. which is a nice kind of chunkier salt. I like it. Nice it's not finishing as salt, salty yeah. as salt either, is, right? It's, it's one right. of those salts that you can actually add a little too much, and, and you won't even pleasant, actually. Yeah. It's still pleasant, right? It's really cool. All right, then we have uh, from Southern Ontario as well. This is an Empire apple vinegar. Perfect. So we just grab a little bit of, uh, this is also, again, from Southern Ontario. It is right. a cold pressed uh, soy oil. Soy oil, all right. With Southern Ontario soybeans. I, cool. I, I like the color, it's really, it's a really yeah. clean oil too. It's right. not very overpowering. Awesome. So we've got our vinegar, we've got our oil, we've got our malden, we've got our turnip. Yep. So then we get our pear on there. Right. You know, yeah. it's kind of a refreshing right. uh, flavor. Then we go with our spice mix here. All right. And you put a little extra on the plate too, just because you can't just, put it all on top. Yeah. You can kind of drag your. Uh, yep. The, your the slices that are underneath, it. you can exactly. pick it up. All right, perfect. Then we have our smoked pistachios here. Smoked pistachios. Yeah. So the nuts are now going to add some texture. Exactly. Right? Now you got crunch. Yep. As well as pervading smoke, which goes with our char. Right. And awesome. then 
This is a uh, molasses I made out of uh, whey fermented uh, ground cherries. Whey fermented? Yeah, so uh, we make our own cheese. Yeah. So we have you all the excess whey. whey. Yeah. So then that, and uh, yeah, we fermented them for about a month, and then cook them down until they become a, a syrup. So what kind of, is that like a sweet, is it a bit bitter? It's sweet, or? it's got a, it's almost got like a nutty kind of popcorn-y flavor to it. It's really interesting. Yeah, you get those, that traditional molasses mm -hmm. flavor with that like... Like the toasted sugar flavor. Yeah, with like, with like a toasted, almost like a, like a charred cherry almost. Yeah. Huh, interesting. All right, cool. And then we got some little micro mustard greens playing Perfect. on kind of the similar flavor from the turnip, that subtle pepperiness. Yep, exactly. As well, it adds your kind of final pop of color. Beautiful. And complementing flavors. Amazing. And Red then we foam. go the cheese. Your cheese. And then you got a nice little clean salad here. Very cool. Yeah, with some All interesting right. stuff on it. Yeah, looking forward to trying it. Let's head into the dining room. Let's do it. Man, it looks great. Thanks. I'm gonna dig in. All right. Please do. The smell, eh? just those, those spices are just kicking your nose into shape. And then these out here. We've got some pistachio, some pear, some of the beautiful um, whey. Whey fermented ground cherry molasses. It's Perfect. It's kind of a mouthful. But... It's a mouthful. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on there, but it's all kind of brings together. There's so much to explain. You get that nice peppery flavor from the turnip. Mm -hmm. um, and then you obviously get the heat from that spice mix. Yeah, there's a little bit of cayenne in there. You taste those cloves, which are really shining through. Mm -hmm. And then you get the sweetness from those pears and from the molasses. Wow, yeah. okay, you gotta try the, the cheese. Yeah, the cheese is from, a, or the milk comes from a little uh, sheep farm that like 45 minutes out of town, wow. so. That char really does bring out the flavor of the sheep's milk. Yeah, exactly. It, like, because wow. it, it, it kind of changes it once it gets hot, right? It gets, uh, mm -hmm. that squeak yeah. is still there, but then the, the actual texture of the cheese changes. That's amazing. All right, well, Steve, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's Great seeing you again until our next meal. Mm -hmm.